Girl fitting. Girl fitting. The figure shows the experimental data of refractory index for different concentration of glucose solution. In this figure, the refractory index varies from 1.33 to 1.39. At the same time, the glucose concentration varies from 0 to 40 gram per 100 ml. Chitradale. 0 gram per 100 ml sugar concentration in the same time. Pure water and the value of the refined is the value of the next mineral data we can see. 5 gram per 100 ml there is an experimental data. 10 gram per 100 ml there is an experimental data. 15 gram per 100 ml there is an experimental data. We can see the value of the refined is of 20 gram per 100 ml etc. Now, the dotted lines we have seen. We have a trend line, a straight line form chains. We can draw a straight line. This straight line, in the, we can get a function. Function of the straight line, we know that it is mx plus c. Y equal to mx plus c. So the function is mx plus c. By using this function, we can find the refractory index for in between points. 0 gram per 100 ml or 5 gram per 100 ml, 10 gram per 100 ml. Okay, let's apply this in experimental data. We can create that value which number function create it. Now, we can find the refractory index when the glucose concentration is 1 gram per 100 ml, if it is 2 gram per 100 ml, or if it is 3 gram per 100 ml, or 7.5 gram per 100 ml. That is the experimental data. We can't get it. So, this function we use in number in between all the refractory index calculation. So, this. So, we have to find the function f of x to estimate the value of dependent variable y for a value of x, y is dependent on x, from a set of data points xi and ya. We have a set of data points xi and ya. From the data point, we can make a function y equal to mx plus c or f of x equal to mx plus c. Is called curve fitting. It is called curve fitting. Least square approximation. It is a most popular method of curve fitting. It is the simplest case. Here, the function need not pass through all points. We points touch the function. The general trend of data will be represented by a straight line. Least square approximation in the variance is the most popular and simple method of curve fitting. Here the function need not pass through all points. We can just take a straight line as a trend line to represent the data. Consider some data points x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, etc., x and yn. There will be a mathematical equation y equal f of x. Now, the deviation of y from f of x is, is the error. The deviation of y from f of x is the error. The deviation of experimental data from the function is the error. Now, the sum of square deviation that is is equal to sum of square deviation means deviation y1 minus f of x1 is a deviation y2 minus f of x2 is a deviation yn minus f of x1 is a deviation and the square on y1 minus f of x1 square that is the square of deviation and then the sum, in, sum of this square deviation can be represented by s or this can be written as by using summation is equal to uh, summation i equal to 1 to n y i minus f of x i square. For an accurate answer, this must be minimum. Fitting of straight line. For a straight line, we have the equation f of x equal to mx plus c. Now, 
let us substitute in the above equation that is s equal to summation i equal to 1 to n y i minus instead of f of x we can substitute m x i plus c all square now take the partial derivative with respect to c when we are taking partial derivative with respect to c other values are constant so that is we have to take a partial derivative of this term so that is 2 into summation i equal to 1 to n y a minus m x i plus c then we have to take once again the derivative of minus c that is minus 1 so because of that we will get minus 2 into i equal to 1 to n into y i minus m x i plus c Any, we can take the partial derivative with respect to m by with respect to m partial derivative all others values will be constant or can be considered as constant so that is equal to 2 times i equal to 1 to n y i minus m x i plus c then into we have to take partial derivative of this inside term with respect to m above we will get the value minus x i minus x i so this is equal to minus 2 into i equal to 1 to n x i it is the equation of the minimum error do s by do c must be equal to 0 and do s by do m must be equal to 0. Now, I equation is 0 you might equate here. Adhim, do s by do c and the equation is 0 you might equate here. That is minus 2 into summation of i equal to 1 to n. This equal to 0. If minus 2 and the cancel here. So that is i equal to 1 to n y i minus m x i plus e equal to 0 or i equal to 1 to n y a equal to i equal to 1 to n m x i plus c it is the number equation rather than sorry now or i equal to 1 to n y a equal to i equal to 1 to n is only substituting an angle or a value substituting that you can be written as like m x 1 plus C plus mx2 plus c plus mx3 plus c plus etc. So that is i equal to 1 to n y i equal to mx1 plus c plus mx2 plus c plus etc. So that is equal to i equal to 1 to n y i equal to i equal to 1 to n mx i plus n c can be written as equation 1. Also, do s by do m in a 0 you might equate to the original. We can write like this or i equal to 1 to n x i into y i minus m x i plus c equal to 0 that is i equal to 1 to n x i y i equal to i equal to 1 to n x i into m x i plus c or i equal to 1 to n x i y i equal to i equal to 1 to n m x i square plus i equal to 1 to n c x i so that can be written like this by taking the constant outside and uh, let it be equation 2. Then we have equation 2 at the So we have equation 1 and equation 2 and 2 are This equation 1 and 2 are called a normal equation. Equation is always the way we can get the value for m and c. From equation 1, we can write c equal to summation of y i minus m summation x i by and let it be equation 3 from equation 2 you can write the value of c that is c equal to summation x i y i minus m into summation of x i square by summation of x i equation 4 so that is from equation 1 we can get the value of 4 c and from equation 2 we can get the value of c then let us compare these two equations in the equation, equation 3 and 4 LHS is C. So we can compare RHS that is 
summation of yi minus m summation xi by n equal to summation of xi yi minus m in summation xi square by summation of xi. In the equation of cross multiplier. So you will get the value equation like this summation of xi summation of yi minus m summation of xi summation of xi equal to n summation of xi yi minus n of summation of xi square. Equation on the rearrange here, then you can write n into summation of xi yi minus summation of xi summation of yi equal to nm summation of xi square minus m summation of xi into summation of xi. This is common on that is equal to n into summation of xi square minus summation of xi into summation of xi all into m that is m equal to n into summation of xi summation of yi minus summation of xi summation of yi divided by n into summation of xi square minus summation of xi into summation of xi so that's the value of m we have to calculate the value of m in the value of m. We calculate the value of m in the equation 1 and 2. Then we have to compare it. Then we got the value of m. Similarly, from equation 1 and 2, separately we can calculate the value of m. Then we can compare them and we will get the equation for c. That is c equal to summation of yi, summation of xi square minus summation of xi, summation of xi yi divided by n into summation of xi square minus summation of xi into summation of xi. Now, find the equation of best fit straight line from the following data points. Find the equation of the best fit straight line for the following data points. We have the data point x equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 and y equal to 2, 5, 7, 10, 12, 15, 19. That is when x equal to 1, y equal to 2, 2, when x equal to 2, y equal to 5, when x equal to 6, y equal to 12, when x equal to 9, y equal to 19. So this is the table. From this table, we need to find the best fit straight line. Okay, we have the equation, equation for m and we have the equation for c. Then we have the equation for straight line that is y equal to mx plus c. So, m in the equation is done, c in the equation is done. We have the data point, we have the m in the equation, m in the value, and we have the c in the value we need to find. Then, we can substitute in the equation of a stride line. So, we have the data point, 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 serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and there is a column for sum. You can write x in the vertical form. You can write y in the vertical form. Equation, we need to find the sum of x. We need to find sum of y. We need to find sum of x square. We need to find sum of x y. So just x in the value in energy, then we can find the sum of x. That is 35. In a wider value, we can write like this. And sum of y is equal to 70. So we x in a wider value. Sum of x in a sum of y the value would be. Then we have to find the value of x square. That is 1 square equal to 1, 2 square equal to 4, 4 square equal to 16, 5 square equal to 25, 6 square equal to 36, etc. Then we need to find the sum of this table, sum of these contents, then that will be 227. And the x y the value, x into y equal to 1 into 2 equal to 2, 2 into 5 equal to 10, 4 into 7 equal to 28. This is the value of x value calculate here. Then we can find the value of summation of x, y. Now we have x into summary, y into summary, x square into summary, x square into summary, small n into value is 7. So now we need to find the value of m. Now we need to find the value of m. Now we need to find the value of m. Now we need to find the value of m. x, y, y into summary. 453 and x side sum is 35, y side sum is 70. We will get the value of m as 1.98. Now, this is the equation for c. 
ഇവിടെ നമുക്ക് സമേഷൻ ഓഫ് വൈ എക്ക് പകരം സെവൻറ്റി എന്ന് കൊടുക്കാം സമേഷൻ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഐസ് പകരം ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി സെവൻ എന്ന് കൊടുക്കുക സമേഷൻ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഐക്ക് പകരം യു ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻ തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് സമേഷൻ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഐ വൈ എക്ക് പകരം യു ക്യാൻ ഫുഡ് ഫോർ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ത്രീ ദെൻ ഇൻ ദ ഡിനോമിനേറ്റർ ആൾസോ യു ക്യാൻ ഫുഡ് ദിസ് വാല്യൂസ് ആൻഡ് യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ദ വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് സി ആസ് പോയിൻറ്റ് സീറോ നയൻ സിക്സ് സോ ഇക്വേഷൻ ഓഫ് സ്ട്രൈറ്റ് ലൈൻ ഈസ് വൈ ഇക്വൽ എം എക്സ് പ്ലസ് സി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ ഇക്വൽ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് നയൻ എയ്റ്റ് എക്സ് പ്ലസ് പോയിൻറ്റ് സീറോ സീറോ നയൻ സിക്സ് നൗ ലെറ്റ് എസ് ഡിസ്കസ് എ പ്രോഗ്രാം ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് പൈത്തൻ കോഡ് ഫോർ ഫിറ്റിംഗ് എ സ്ട്രൈറ്റ് ലൈൻ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ പൈത്തൻ പ്രോഗ്രാം നൗ വി ക്യാൻ ഓപ്പൺ ദ പ്രോഗ്രാം so this is the program here you can we need to find sum of x we need to find sum of y we need to find sum of x square and we need to find sum of x into y that's things we need to find so initially we can take some variable like sum of x equal to as n zero sum of y as n zero sum of x x as n zero sum of x y as n zero then we can make two list list of x list as in y now the program will be like n input enter the number of data pairs so in this case uh, we need to enter the number of data pairs in the last previous problem what we have discussed avada n in the value and the value is 7 for i in range of 1 comma n plus 1 that means 1 comma 8 that means it will form a list of 1 to 7 then x comma y as an input and our x value and y value program run in the samayath x value y value enter yan pare then list x append x x ulla value list x ulla append cheyapadum y ulla value list y enna parayna aa list ulla append cheyapadum then sum as an sum plus x x appo x inde sum aanu sum x ulla vera sum y illa sum cheduthulam y ude sum aanu vera sum x y equal to sum x y plus x into y sum x x equal to sum x x plus x into x now for both equation of m and c the denominator is same so we can write denom equal to n into sum x x minus sum x into sum x so we can use the function float to convert the denominator into float so denominator float ayalum numerator float ayalum ഒരു മൾട്ടിപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഡിവിഷനെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം ദാറ്റ് ഫൈനൽ റിസൾട്ട് വിൽ ബി ഫോർട്ട് സോ എം എൻ ഇക്വേഷൻ നമുക്ക് അറിയാം ഈ കല്ലു എൻ ഇൻറ്റു സമേഷൻ എക്സ് വൈ മൈനസ് സമേഷൻ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻറ്റു സമേഷൻ ഓഫ് വൈ വൈ ഡിനോം ദെൻ സി കല്ലു സം വൈ ഇൻറ്റു സം എക്സ് എക്സ് മൈനസ് സം എക്സ് ഇൻറ്റു സം എക്സ് വൈ ബൈ ഡിനോമിനേറ്റർ സോ if it, we have completed like this then print the equation of straight line is y equal to mx plus the equation of straight line is y equal to mx plus now let us run the problem so here we have seven data pairs then we have to put the value of x and y value that is 1 comma 2 2 comma 5 Four comma seven, five comma ten, and six comma twelve, eight comma fifteen, nine comma ninety. The equation of straight line is y equal to this plus this. So this is the case of the program, and this is the result.